NCIS sure is a world of its own. On top of the lights, the camera, and the action, there's also the behind the scenes that we need to think of. For instance, have you considered the amount of work that goes into a single script? With that being said, we hear that Diona Reasonover has been pretty far ahead in script writing. And what's this we hear about Mark Harmon's thoughts on Diona's scripts? Stay tuned to find out more. To begin with, what role did Diona play in the script? Diona Reasonover has been a member of the vast, vast NCIS family since season 16 after recurring in three episodes the previous year. But as of the 21st of November, she added a brand new credit to her NCIS resume as co-author of the Turkey Trot episode with executive producer Scott Williams. Reason over said, and we quote, I'm glad to say I actually came to them and I said, I have a great idea. Sadly, they turned it down, but that's how it all started because then she gave them four more. Yep, don't worry, we'll catch you up. She approached Scott Williams, the writer of Casey's first episode and told him she loved his writing and that if he'd let her, she'd love to write with him. That's how they wove together the idea of expanding Katrina Laws, also known as Jessica Knight's family. After an unknown shooter causes chaos at an annual Thanksgiving 5K and it appears that someone is threatening the life of Navy Rear Admiral Martha Stock, Casey joins Knight for Thanksgiving lunch at Knight's sister Robbins, played by Leland Bowden, Airbnb in the Turkey Trot episode. But because it's a holiday and the NCIS team is having trouble trouble gathering evidence, Parker excuses Knight and Casey to go have lunch with Robin. Now, let's learn more about this whole script writing business. Originally, Reason Over planned for Knight and Jimmy Palmer to have lunch at Robin's, but there was already a Leave No Trace Knight and Palmer episode in the works in which Knight's ex-boyfriend returns and tries to win her back. Apparently, at the time, that was still very much in development, and they weren't sure where that was going to go. So, of course, Scott said that they've got to do someone other than Knight and Jimmy, and Diona literally begged him to do it. Poor Casey has already been through so much, hasn't she? But it was either her or nobody, so here we are. Without giving too much away, no spoilers here, this will be Casey's third hostage situation, which is why Reason Over told Williams she'd been through so much. However, due to the dysfunctional family dynamics between Knight and her sister, Casey has been drinking wine to help her get through lunch. Now, when they decided to do Casey and Knight, they didn't want it to just be a repeat of the same emotional beats, so they gave her a little bit of a more comedic twist with this one. Then finally, what did Mark Harmon have to say about all this? Mark Harmon, aka Leroy Jethro Gibbs, came to the set one day while they were filming and complimented her on her writing debut, which made writing her first NCIS episode even more special. Mark went up to Diona and said he loved the script. Reason Over stated that she wasn't sure if that's why he drove up to where they were, but she's going to say it was anyway. He most likely had other people to talk to, but he literally did, and Reason Over got to hug him, talk to him, and catch up with him, which was fantastic, of course. So Mark is still there. He gets every script, he's still an EP, and he still acts like one. During their conversation, Reason Over, whose character Casey brings a mac and cheese side dish to Thanksgiving lunch, discusses her family recipe, her favorite episode, and what she would like to do with Brian Dietzen. Casey contributes mac and cheese to the Thanksgiving meal. When asked if she had a favorite mac and cheese recipe, Reason Over agreed vehemently. Because her father is from Tennessee, she makes traditional southern mac and cheese. It definitely has eggs in it. It's much more custardy than Kraft mac and cheese. Coming up, here are other questions that Diona was asked. About the co-writing process, she said that it's a lot of talking for her and Scott, which is great because they get to talk about their families, their family traditions, and funny things that have happened to them on Thanksgiving. They talked about ideas and then did a little card outline, but then they split up and they each write their own storylines. By the way, may we acknowledge the director? Lionel Coleman directed this episode. He's never directed for OG NCIS before, but he's directed for LA. Apparently, he was an absolute pleasure to work with. What's more, he was very gentle and patient with the actors, making sure to protect all of the performances and draw out these really incredible performances. Lately, when asked if she wanted to be a director, she said that if Lionel continues to direct, she'll be pretty happy. That will be left to Lionel and Rocky Carroll, but she wants to keep writing. Now, of course, she hopes to write more because she enjoys it immensely. What's more, she dislikes Anthony answering questions and thinks that the director's chair is far too high for her. But what do you guys think? Up next, it's time to address the elephant in the room. How much does Mark Harmon make in every episode? It's not a surprise that the NCIS franchise is huge. After all, it's been on our screen since 2003, and the creative team has been releasing hit after hit for the audience to enjoy. NCIS has many spin-offs, including NCIS Los Angeles, Hawaii, New Orleans, and Sydney. You're aware of it. But an important part of the main 
main NCIS show has always been Mark Harmon's character Leroy Gibbs. It all comes back to him in a way, doesn't it? As a result, we and fans were understandably saddened when Mark left NCIS. After seeing him on screen for 20 seasons, people began to associate the show with the actor and the character he played, Leroy Gibbs. Despite the fact that Mark's final episode aired in October of last year, fans are still curious about how much the actor earned from his appearance on the popular police procedural series. And there have been rumors, as always. Before he left the hit drama last year, reports claimed that Mark earned a whopping $525,000 per episode. We couldn't help but do the math. So based on the standard 24-episode season, the star would have made over $12.6 million. That can't be right, can it? Coming up next, what is Mark's worth exactly? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? You thought the previous number was shocking? Stay tuned for what we have in store next. The 71-year-old has a net worth of nearly $100 million, which he has accumulated over his nearly 50-year career in the industry. However, when we look at the earnings per episode, we are not surprised at all. He even spoke briefly about his legacy. Mark discussed the legacy of his character and his thoughts on how Gibbs' storyline was wrapped up in a special feature on the show's season 19 DVD release. Harmon had devoted much of his acting career to this character and show. So if there is one thing we can be certain of, it is that the actor does not need to be concerned about leaving a legacy. Even after his departure from the show, the fans want cameos and even a full-blown return. Well, can you blame them? Now, with all this money, we just have to address something. Lastly, why did Mark leave the show in the first place? Fans of the show were devastated when Mark announced his departure from NCIS after more than 20 years as Special Agent Gibbs. But this guy had his reasons for making the choice. After nearly two decades on the show, the Gibbs actor no longer believed he was getting the chance to tackle new and difficult material. This was one of the main reasons he returned season after season. While Mark was pleased with the character's development, he believed that it was honest and that he was content with it. At the same time, he realized it was time to say goodbye. Harmon also added that he believes that the character has not retired, but is currently living in Alaska. This statement has fueled theories that Leroy Gibbs might actually return. But the departure also makes sense in a way. The challenge may be the most important aspect for an actor of his caliber. Harmon must have grown tired of playing Leroy after a while. But that doesn't change the fact that Mark did some incredible things with the character. From the beginning of season 1 to the end of season 19, fans were glued to the screen. Because of Leroy Gibbs and his antics, many of us became addicted to the show. That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments what you think of how much Mark Harmon makes per episode. Hit like, press that bell icon for updates, and click that subscribe button because we will be back with another video. Bye! Hey, this is Casey. I'm not here right now, but leave a message and I'll hit you back later. Special Agent Timothy McGee, do you recall receiving multiple shipments of electronic equipment from China? We have a warrant. What if we just ask them nicely who they paid, huh?